Right, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at this engine. We're going to be taking the carburetor off, taking the head off, and we're going to give it a good clean up and hopefully get it ready for some preparation to take some paint. So let's get it cleaned down first and then we'll start stripping it down. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take this old kickstart off. So we'll get rid of this. So we can loosen that. In fact, I don't think I needed to undo that. We'll undo this one. I think that'll be a nine. Anyway, let's just crack that. That should just wiggle off. We'll put that back on there for the time being. And then I'm gonna just remove these hoses from the carburetor. That's one, that's two. And then what I'm gonna do now is just undo these four 10 mil bolts. So I've got us a 12 mil socket. We'll just crack these open. Right, and so we might have to have the tap off on this. Oh no, it's loose already, look. Just a bit of coolant there. And that is looking really good in there. Really good. Yeah, you can definitely tell. It does look like, to me, it has had a rebuild. That pot looks fantastic in there. But yeah, you can see a bit of carbon build up on there, but not a lot. That's uh, You can see the piston there, it's still, it's still fresh. Let me just give that a, a wipe over. Yeah, you can see, look how clean this has all come up this. There's a little, I'll say a little bit of carbon build up there in the middle, but you can still actually see the piston is virtually brand new still. Hasn't done many miles at all. So like the chap said, he went in for about 500 miles and parked it up because he was going to uh, start restoration on himself, but then he never got around to doing it. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I say that it looks good in inside the crank under the reed, reed case in there. And as you can see by that, it's fantastic really really good you can tell these studs are new as well so yeah i'm really happy with that what we're going to do now we'll take it into the log cabin and we'll start getting it ready for uh the strip down and clean and i need to take the barrel off here so let's get on with that
Right, welcome back. As you can see, got well stuck in there and the engine is near enough and stripped back as far as I want to be going. There will be a couple more little things I'll be doing, but what we're going to concentrate on now is I want to get this case in ready to go in the sandblaster and get powder coated. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to take these off, the circlips off and the cogs. We'll get this grommet off here. So basically we're just looking for a bare skin here. We'll take that out of there and uh, get that ready for the powder coating stage. Also, we've got the head to sort out. We've got to take the thermostat out of there and we'll take these pipes off. And then we've also got the cylinder. As I say, this is like a new cylinder still really. So we've got that to clean down, get that ready for paint. And as I say, I'm going to leave the engine at here at the minute. I'm just going to get all this protected first and then we'll come back to that in another video. Right, so what we're going to do now is just pry these C-clips off. And there's one. I'm just taking note how these come out. So then you've got your cog there and then you have a little pin to locate there. So we'll just drop that there. And then there's another C clip. So we'll just get that one off. There we go. And I reckon that's that all done now. I think there's a couple of screws on the back of this that we'll just have to undo. So we'll just get the JIS screwdrivers. Crack that. Crack that. That's one thing about this bike, all the screws have really been no hassle really. So that's that. Yeah, and that just lifts out you see. It does drop a bit of oil, but that's to be expected. And then you can pull that shaft through them. There is a spring just holding that collar in. There we go. See, just a little spring there. There we go. So that's that one out. And we're just going to put these in a little plastic cup so we don't lose them. This one off. Lucky we didn't lose that. So you get a washer above that one. So we'll just place that back up there. Same again, you've got your pin and then that just pulls out. There's a bit of a gasket sealant behind there, look. Right then, so we're back at the parts washer now. I've brought this part in, this case in, and I'm just going to stick these gloves on. And we're going to go ahead and just give this a rinse down. I'll just put you on a bit of time lapse for this bit. So what we're going to do now is we're just we're just going to take these up now because we do not want to be sandblasting in them. So and we just need to cover the back of this up because we don't want nothing going in here either. So yeah, what we're going to do now is just get this prepared and then we'll get it in the sandblaster.
then, so we're going to leave that here for this little um, video on stripping the engine out. As you've just seen there, we've got the side casing powder coated now. So all I've got left to do is get the barrel on the head thoroughly cleaned down and then we'll get that painted. And then I've got the main casings, give that a nice good scrub down and hopefully get a bit of paint on that as well. So we're going to leave it here for this little one. And until next time, we'll see you about. Thank you.